All right, folks, we got it moved up here. I didn't want to run it long at all because of the, the temperature, but I forgot that I'd idled it down so daggone low that uh, it was barely turning. So I had to, I brought it up here and then I idled it back up. But anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, I'm not going to start with the fan first. I'm just going to start with the radiator first because I'm outside and it's supposed to rain today. If it starts to rain, I can take the fan off, take it in, do the machine, and then inside. So it's still waiting on the pulley. Like I said, it's going to be a couple days here before it gets here. And then we can run the generator. Generators are easy to wire. Uh, people are scared of them sometimes, but you got to fill an armature wire. Them two wires run back to the uh, voltage regulator, and then you got one battery wire running from the battery to the voltage regulator. And, well, really not from the battery. I guess through the amp gauge, if you're running an amp gauge. I'm running a volt gauge, so I'm going to run it just from the battery. We got, I guess we've got a CAT scan coming up. But uh, that's what we're going to work on. I want to get uh, 32 radiators going to work fine with this engine. Bottom hose, I think I can figure out pretty easy. Top hose, I'm going to have to tee these together. And uh, I didn't want to run a Ford radiator with them two hoses because Ford radiator, they're a little bit bigger, and then I'd be having to block off one of the bottom hoses. So, uh, anyway, that's what we got, where we're at, what we're going to do. All right. There you go on it. I think my cat scanner's broke. You broke? Okay, I know most of y'all hadn't seen the uh, Ninja Cat here before, you know, up until, what, a month ago or something like that. But we've had that cat for a long time. That cat was inside cat. And it got close to the window one day. And I sort of helped it out and said, look, go see the world outside. And she did. And I think she and I think a whole lot alike because she decided that she didn't want to be back in the house. She liked it outside. So ever since then, she's uh, guarded my shop and, and, like I said, followed me around like a puppy dog. So Anyway, that's the story with her. I think we've had her for years. So. But... uh. And not sure how she lost her eye, uh, supposedly at birth, I think. Okay, folks, cut me two brackets to weld onto the car. And what I've done is drilled and bolted them to our radiator exactly where I need them at. And then we're going to set it up there, and then I'm going to tack them in place. And that way we'll have them exactly where we want them. All right, folks, we got it on there, but I think I'm going to lower it. I really don't want to because I'm trying to keep it out of the fan. I don't know how close we can get without, you know, we're, we're close. But I think maybe if I tilt it forward a little more and then bring it down, it should clear. I just, our rods are running pretty downhill. I mean, it don't, it don't seem like it's that far off, but I just don't want the front grill to be higher than the, the body. So coming kind of a, pain there to get it in place but that's why I've left the fan on for now so let me see what I can do I may cut it back loose here and maybe play a little bit cut them mounts maybe a little bit I don't know alright we'll figure it out okay I want to show you something on these model A doors this is a, a coupe and a coupe door and if you measure it, it measures 27 and a half long and I want to show you the difference in a sedan door. These are sedan doors that uh, Noah found at the dump. And somebody had thrown them away. And they're pretty rough. Somebody has cut them. I don't know if they was trying to make a roadster or what they was doing. But anyway, these are sedan doors. Because instead of 27 and a half, what are them where they're 29 and it's like almost, well, about an eighth. Almost a quarter. So the doors are longer even though they're the same body line so that's why i'm looking for a 30 31 cow is because it'll fit up to these doors we've got part of our hinges here and then uh that'll make it a a good start for a body uh, i'll have to build the entire back of the body around but that's going to be the start for the uh, roadster and hopefully uh i'll have the cow here in just a little bit if it shows up I'll do a little video on it but I've got to get this radiator lowered down on this car all right okay I was able to get it down a little over an inch or maybe about an inch 
makes a big difference though. Uh, I know it's not going to be higher than the uh, than the cow. There's my rods. They're not down in all the way. So I'll end up welding some bolts and stuff onto them. I'll go ahead and make them into, or I might thread them. I can just run a die down it. It's a quarter inch. So run a quarter 20 die down it. And uh, thread them and put some nuts and washers and stuff on them. And that, that'll keep my radiator from moving back at all. Uh, looks, I've got about three, I got three quarters of an inch clearance. Is what I put with the radiator. So I think it'll be fine. I hope I'm not hurting myself because I didn't do the bearing before I done the before I done this. But I don't think it's gonna matter. So fan's pretty big. It's actually wider than what the radiator is, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, bottom hose right here down to there shouldn't be a problem. Uh, top hoses we're gonna have to tee together and run right here, which well, shouldn't be a problem either. So it don't look too bad. You know, we'll either make something or come up with something that'll look decent anyway. I'm liking it. Let me get the grill shell on it here real quick and see if it slides down all the way and fits. Hey, look, it's a gremlin. Okay, well, my support rods come out really well. Uh, I actually, I didn't, I didn't end up threading them. Uh, I just cut them and took a long quarter inch bolt and cut the head off, welded it together. And then ground it. Uh, it would have took me longer to find my die. I actually found one of them, but it had a, a broken spot in it. I didn't want to take a chance on it. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, we've got our A cover clamped on. Now I don't know why they do this on just about all these. They don't have caps in them. We're gonna find something to put there. But most all of the even the A radiators you buy. Now this I bought as a 32 radiator, but even the A-model radiators you buy have it out here and not up there. Now, these aftermarket may not have a hole in them. This is an old original. This actually came on the car that I bought that we made the Roadster out of, that we used the quarters off of. Now, this was on the front of it. You can see it's cracked here, and it's cracked here, and there's no bottom. But we couldn't run the bottom with this one anyway, so it actually worked out really well. And I may paint the radiator black. I don't know. We're going to try to get this mounted on there and go from there. i got still got welding to do for the bracket on the bottom, but uh, it actually worked out better than I thought it would. And we got enough room in here. We've got three quarters of an inch, so that should be fine as long as we don't have any issues with our fan, which we'll be pulling that off here shortly and going through and trying to redo the bearings in it anyway. So we'll see what it takes and what I need to do. All right, okay, folks, so here's our cow. It is a 28, 29 model. He's 29. Uh, he thought he had a 30, 31, but he didn't. But uh, this thing will work just fine. Uh, we're going to, we're still going to use the other doors. Probably going to go ahead and just use these 30, 31 doors. You know, they've been cut off and stuff anyway. Uh, not worried about body lines. We can make that look fine. And uh, this is actually... The Happy Days Roadster was a 2829, so this is actually more correct, but I mean it don't matter because it's not going to be exactly like it. I just told that as an idea, you know, pickup bed and, you know, the front body. So this one's rusty. Uh, you know, usually like the five window coupe, when I've done the videos, I try not to show the worst parts of them because, I, you know, I buy these things or get these things. This one here I just traded for. Uh, and people think I'm kind of crazy. So usually I don't show, you know, real good the bad stuff, but but uh, here it is anyway. So uh, we're gonna try to put it together good enough to, uh, to build something anyway. And we'll probably just fabricate a frame. If we fab fabricate a frame, then I can do a, you know, a custom title. Uh, if I don't, then I've got to bond it and using the frame numbers if there are any and all that stuff and it's more of a pain so I'd rather just do a custom title so you can see our straight eights all wrapped up covered in the back and yeah I have the plug cover that came with it it wasn't on it but uh, anyway it's supposed to rain 
tonight. So this thing usually is under the shed, but I've got it out. So we've got it wrapped up good. And uh, got some blocks on it and covered good. Radiator's in, shell's on. All that's good. Got my rods done. Got a little bit more to do on it. Uh, we're going to have to start working on hoses and stuff. But I started on the fan. I'll show you that. Okay, so I've got the bearing pressed out of here. Uh, the clip that goes around there, I've got it out. No problem. So I can't get that shaft to press off that bearing. Uh, I don't know how hard it's on there. And I can put this back in. That's not a big issue there. But I want to make sure there was no clips on it. And I can't find anything. Any clips of any kind. So we may end up cutting this bearing off. I might. Uh, I've, I don't have any auction. I'm out of auction my torches, but we can cut a cut off wheel or something. But uh, I might pop this bearing apart. Maybe I can see something. I don't see any kind of a retainer, and you'd think there would be a retainer on it unless it's pressed on really hard. But uh, anyway, so that's where we're at on the fan. We'll play with it a little bit more. See what we can get done. All right. So we figured out this. I wasn't sure how this pressed apart, but this presses off of this, and you buy the bearing and the shaft together. So I don't have any, I don't have any real heat. Uh, I've got a little torch, I think. I'm out of oxygen, so uh, let's see if we can press this at all. We'll get a new one on the way. Okay, I cleaned it up some and tried to press it a little bit with the arbor press, but I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna pick up some oxygen, then we're gonna. We'll get it, this thing heated up a little bit where it'll come off without hurting anything. I don't want to tear it up. Uh, anyway, so uh, I've already had this out. I got the clip out of here. There's a clip that goes in and around, and that's what holds this bearing in. Uh, I've already had this pressed out and knocked it back in because I wanted to. I was trying to figure out how that came off the bearing, but uh, when they sell them, they sell the bearing with the shaft. So we just got to get this off the shaft. And we'll get this sandblasting cleaned up, get that painted in the fan, and the pulley should be here, and we'll have that this, this week also. So we'll get everything up and rolling. And uh, anyway, all right, well, appreciate everybody watching. Till next time, bye.